John, as far as the network rail operation is concerned on the, the main line to London, this little passage through Sydney Gardens must be the most sensitive part of the work you're undertaking. What exactly is happening through here now? Yes, it is one of the most uh, sensitive parts, but it's also one of the most interesting parts of the railway, and it's grade one listed, so we have to be very, very careful uh, what we do here. Pr principally, we are lowering the track, but that does involve also renewing the track, and by lowering the track, we're able to retain all these beautiful grade one listed structures. So there are new sleepers being laid down now? Yes, and new ballast, and um, we've excavated the old ballast out, uh, dug down to a deeper depth than we would normally do so that we can uh, put the track back somewhat lower than it was before so that we can gain enough clearance to put the electric wires through. Well John here we are midway through Friday afternoon uh, Network Rail promising to hand the railway back to uh, uh, Great Western Railway passengers uh, on Tuesday morning there still seems to me to be an awful lot of work to be done. Yes, there is an awful lot to do, but you've got to bear in mind that generally when we do works like this, we do them at weekend and we wouldn't normally be starting until uh, Saturday morning or even de indeed Saturday evening. So although there looks to be a lot to do, if everything goes to plan, we should be able to hand the track back on time for the 1st of September. It's been a remarkable achievement, I think, considering how much has been done over six weeks. Uh, looking back on things, how do you feel? Yes, I think it's gone very well. Um, we, we have generally been able to hold our programme. We found one or two things which we didn't expect, but nothing which we couldn't overcome. And uh, the quality of the track which is going back is really, really super. So I think the passengers in the future are not only going to find that they've got a great new electrified railway, but they've also got a smoother ride on the better track that we've installed. Uh, Sydney Gardens was always Brunel's showpiece and it's good to know that Network Rail still will be letting people watch the trains go by but obviously there are health and safety regulations that have to be brought in here. Uh, just how visible are the trains going to be in the future? Yes, this, uh, if you like, was Brunel's theatre. This is where he combined the railway with the beautiful uh, pleasure gardens which were here before and, and indeed before him the canal builders built the canal through and both those are both those uh, great works were done very sympathetically to the garden so it's very important that we maintain that I think for the public and uh, we're trying to work to work very hard to make sure that uh, the public will still get a good view of the railway from the gardens. So there's some decisions still to be made on the type of posts that carry the, uh, the electric cable and also the sort of barrier you put up alongside the railway line here. Yes, uh, yes we are trying to ensure that everything we do here is sympathetic with, with, the, with the sensitive nature of this area. Uh, yes, we do want people to be able to view the railway still, but we've got to take into account their safety. So that does mean that the walls on the bridges uh, would, need, would need to be higher than they are at the moment so that people don't accidentally get uh, an electric shock. Well, it's good to know that the bridge we're standing on, uh, Brunel's Iron Bridge, is going to be conserved. This is being taken away and restored in a way, isn't it? Yes, this is going to be fully refurbished. This is the last iron bridge on the railway uh, that Brunel constructed and uh, it, it, in that way it is very significant, so it's going to be fully restored.